Good evening. You are watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman television. First, the headlines. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos receives a written message from His Excellency the President of Comoros handed over to His Highness Syed Asad bin Tarak Al Said. His Excellency, the Minister responsible for Foreign Affairs, stresses that establishing an independent and sovereign state of Palestine is a prerequisite for any future relations between the Arab countries and Israel. The initial sessions of Tanfeed Labs focuses on the development of the communications and information technology sectors. And experts in the medical field discuss in Muscat preparing an implementation plan for quality and patient safety during adversity and emergency. Those were the headlines. Now the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos received a cable of thanks from His Majesty King Norodom Sihamoni of Cambodia in reply to a cable of greetings sent by His Majesty the Sultan on the occasion of his country's National Day. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos received a written message from His Excellency President Asumani Azali of the Union of the Comoros. The message was handed over to His Highness Syed Asad bin Tariq Al Said, Deputy Prime Minister for International Relations and Cooperation Affairs and personal representative of His Majesty the Sultan when he received His Excellency Mohammed Al Amin Suaf Al Yamani, Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation and the Envoy of the Comoros President. The minister conveyed the greetings and best wishes of good health and long life of the Comoros president to His Majesty the Sultan and to the Omani people further progress and prosperity. His Highness Syed Asad bin Tarak Al Said conveyed His Majesty's greetings and best wishes to the president of the Union of the Comoros and to the Comorian people further progress and prosperity. The meeting was attended by His Excellency Syed Bada bin Hamad al Busaidi, Secretary General of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and Their Excellencies, the Secretary General and Advisers of the Office of the Deputy Prime Minister for International Relations and Cooperation Affairs and Personal Representative of His Majesty the Sultan. His Excellency Yusuf bin Alawi bin Abdullah, Minister responsible for foreign affairs, stated that there will not be any normalization of diplomatic ties unless Israel finds a peaceful solution to the Palestinian issue. He also stressed in a press conference held in Moscow with His Excellency Sergei Lavrov, Foreign Minister of Russia, that establishing an independent and sovereign state of Palestine is a prerequisite for any normalization of ties in the future between the Arab countries and Israel. The Council of the Union of Arab Chambers discussed during the 129th meeting the theme on investment in the Sultanate. The meeting was hosted by Oman Chamber of Commerce and Industry in Muscat today. The meeting talked about the major investment opportunities available in the Sultanate, as well as the most important issues of interest to the countries of the region during the upcoming phase. Such issues are related to providing employment opportunities for young people and providing them with the necessary expertise to enter the labour market. The meeting also discussed organising a transport and logistics conference in the Arab nation and the seventh investment conference in Arab food security, in addition to discussing participating Arab and foreign commercial chambers. The initial sessions of Tanfeed Labs focused on the development of the communications and information technology sectors within the framework of the fourth industrial revolution. During the sessions, the experts in the IT and telecommunications fields stressed the importance of investing in promising opportunities in these sectors so as to contribute in uplifting the gross domestic product and development in the Sultanate. The work papers presented during the sessions were related to devices, programs and innovative solutions as well as training courses in addition to providing a work environment that supports future jobs. The 
the Ministry of Health, represented by the Collaborative Centre of the World Health Organisation for Quality and Patient Safety, hosted today, in cooperation with the WHO Regional Office for the Eastern Mediterranean, the experts' consultation meeting on preparing an implementation plan for quality and safety during adversity and emergencies. The two-day meeting aims at developing an implementation framework for quality and safety during adversity, reviewing the main challenges and priorities of quality during emergencies, assessing the initial quality results and developing the main tools needed to ensure the quality and safety of healthcare services in emergencies. More than 20 WHO e MRO experts, along with participants from the Sultanate, are attending the consultation meeting. Still to come in our news bulletin. The Oman Academy for those with special skills is inaugurated. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. His Excellency Syed Bada bin Hamad bin Hamoud al Basaidi, Secretary General of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, received at the General Diwan of the Ministry today His Excellency Engineer Mazen Ghanim, head of the Palestinian Water Authority, who is currently on a visit to the Sultanate. During the meeting, both sides reviewed the march of bilateral relations between the two countries and means of enhancing and developing fields of joint cooperation. Major General Salam bin Musalam Khatan, Commandant of the National Defence College, received at the college's building in Waska Beit al-Falaj today, Edward Stringer, Director General of Developing the British Joint Forces and his accompanying delegation. The meeting reviewed the cooperation fields between the Sultanate and the United Kingdom. They also exchanged cordial conversations and reviewed viewpoints on several matters of common concern. A force from Muscat Battalion at Royal Army of Oman participated with Infantry Brigade 23 in Al Jazeera Joint Shield Exercise 10 in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The exercise, which will be held between the period from 20th of February to the 14th of next March, came to enhance the existing military cooperation and to unify concepts and strategic plans among the Gulf Cooperation Council countries. His Excellency, Engineer Mazen Ghanim, head of the Palestinian Water Authority and his accompanying delegation, visited today the Sultan's Armed Forces Museum at Beit al-Falaj Fort. The delegation toured the museum sections and viewed the historical stages of Omani civilization and its role in different fields. The guest also viewed the historical manuscripts and models, as well as Omani architecture. He was also briefed on the progress enjoyed by the Sultan's armed forces during the prosperous era of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. The Sultan's Armed Forces Museum hosted an exhibition on Omani crafts and heritage. The exhibition was organised by the Ministry of Tourism. A number of public and private institutions took part in the exhibition to showcase handicrafts and pottery along with other works and products. The Ministry of Education implemented a work session on standards of evaluating project candidates for the Sultan Qaboos Award for Sustainable Development in the School Environment. The session aimed to review the work mechanism at the domestic evaluation stage for project candidates for the award, explain the structure of the electronic system of the award, training on using it, and reviewed the role of coordinators of the award and heads of the divisions of the education portal at the Directorates General of Education in the Governorates in evaluating the projects in addition to providing technical support to use electronic system of the award. 
the Ministry of Environment and Climate Affairs organised a forum on Al Salim Natural Park. It aimed to develop the area which is considered a nature reserve for wildlife. It is located in the Walaya of Al Kamal Wawafi and includes 55 kinds of birds as well as animals and plants. A number of representatives of the bodies concerned during the forum reviewed the efforts exerted to protect the reserve and its development plans. The Oman Academy for those with special skills was inaugurated today. It is considered the first of its kind initiative in the Sultanate to support those with intellectual disorders and rehabilitate them to work in various fields. The study programs within the Academy include entrepreneurship, arts, crafts, first aid and many others. It also includes special workshops in coordination with government and private sectors. Stage 3 of the Tour of Oman 2019 International Cycling Teams concluded this afternoon with a celebration conducted under the patronage of His Excellency Sheikh Yahya bin Nasser Al Harasi, Wali of Karayat, to award the winners while at the starting point. It was held under the patronage of Sheikh Talal bin Saeed Al Mamri, Chief Executive Officer of Oman Tao. More details in the following report by Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Rubai. The 10th edition of Tour Oman 2019, represented by 18 international cycling teams of 11 countries, kicked off their race at Shati Al Qurum, the starting point, to cover 192.5 kilometers that took them all the way to Quriyat, the longest distance and the harder than yesterday race, as it has the final climb of three kilometers right on the finish line, which is located on the top of the mountain. This challenging route has allowed Alex Loshenko of Astana with his experience, which made him push the cycling pedal very well and become the winner of the stage three. Alex is considered to be one of the strongest competitors in Asia. He also won general classification and got his red jersey. He as well won points classifications, the green jersey, so it was a victorious day for him. The winner of Young Rider, the white jersey went to Raya Gibbons of Team Dementia Data and for the aggressive rider, Golden jersey went to the same winner of the Stage 2, Pervan Verheik of Sport of Loderin Bolwas. Really enjoying Oman so far, it's my first time racing here, beautiful country and uh, it's been quite quite tough the last two days, or well, the last three days, uh, but today was especially tough, so still very happy to be in the white jersey, the, the best young rider and I, I hope to keep it. His Excellency Wali of Quriyat uh, expressed his happiness for such events held in Oman. He stated that this kind of sports uh, expresses Oman to the world and will indeed assist in boosting tourism. The awarding ceremony witnessed a traditional performance by young Omani artists from Quriyat. Abdullah bin Ahmed al Rubi'i, Sultanate of Oman Television, Quriyat. Now for the general weather forecast around the Sultanate. Clear to partly cloudy skies will prevail over the northern governorates of the Sultanate with chances of scattered rains. The rest of the Sultanate will have clear skies with chances of low clouds and fog late at night and early morning over the governorates of South Sharkia and Worcester. Winds will be northwesterly to south, light to moderate. Seas will be slight with a maximum wave height of one metre.
This is the Sultanate of Iman television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos receives a written message from His Excellency the President of Comoros handed over to His Highness Syed Asad bin Tariq Al Said. His Excellency, the Minister responsible for Foreign Affairs, stresses that establishing an independent and sovereign state of Palestine is a prerequisite for any future relations between the Arab countries and Israel. The initial sessions of Tanfeed Labs focuses on the development of the communications and information technology sectors. And experts in the medical field discuss in Muscat preparing an implementation plan on quality and patient safety during adversity and emergency. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the newsroom and the studios, it's good night.